that I am going to be carving Spiral Seashell. I start by sawing up a block that's about 1 inch by 1 inch and about 1 and 3 quarter inch tall along the grain. I then saw the corners off to save me some time with my chisel. The wood that I'm using here is catalpa, which is a reasonably hard wood. You can use any wood that you have lying around for this. As usual, basswood is probably going to be the easiest for any beginner. After sawing, I always clean up my lines with a chisel. A basic shape for this shell is like a tall diamond, which is a little bit skewed, with one point higher than the other. I then taper the faces on each of the sides to a point. Because we're carving slightly across the grain here, make sure to keep aware of the grain direction to avoid splitting and chip out. You can do all of this with a knife as well, it's just that I simply prefer using a chisel. I now have the piece squared up and properly proportioned, so now it's time to make a round. After marking out centre lines, I begin knocking off the corners to basically create two cone shapes. When you're doing this, carve down towards the point of the cone, but be careful not to cut the point off. You want to keep that length intact. Another thing to pay attention to here is that you're getting an even circle around the centre of the piece. Find that marking out the centre line helps. As I get down to the final size, I'll spin the piece and take small cuts to remove the high spots as I see them. I've now finished the exterior shape of the shell. Next is to carve out the spiral in the top half. I mark a line starting at the highest point of where the two cones meet and then draw around the shell from here. Using the even spacing, this creates a spiral, which you can see easily from the top view. To carve out the spiral, I use a VTOOL. You can do this with a knife or a chisel, but I think that a V-tool is best, and this is a great way to practice your control using both faces of the tool. So I'm just taking gentle cuts, moving up the cone, and when I reach the opposite side of the shell, I switch directions to avoid cutting downhill or against the grain. Here I'm gently using the VTOOL to taper the spiral out by decreasing the depth of my cut. I'll keep working away until I've reached the tip of the spiral. Make sure to be very gentle with the point as it can break if you're not very careful.
I then use a knife to tidy up my VTOOL cuts. What doesn't really get shown in a YouTube video like this is how much time I spend on refinement, which is often done with a knife here. And when I say refinement, I kind of mean getting everything to flow nicely into each other, getting those proportions really correct and getting all those edges nice and crisp. I sand the shell starting with 100 grit paper. To get into the nooks and crannies, I fold and crease the paper to get it to form around the piece. Stiffening the paper with a fold helps to get into those corners and avoids rounding the edges. I sand it to 240 on this and then clean up the dust with an old toothbrush. I'm finishing the shell with some simple walnut oil, no need to get complicated on this one. Rub that oil in nicely and always make sure to buff off the excess oil. And there we have it, a hand carved Catalpa seashell. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Hey guys, thanks for watching this one. If you want to do a little bit more with this project, something you know extra for experts, I've actually made this into a hermit crab design in the past. All you need to do for that is leave a bit more space on here to carve an opening and then carve a separate body and then fit it and glue it in. So I'm not going to cover that in this one, but I might come back to it later. I'd love to see what you guys do with this piece. As usual, send me any of your pictures to me on Instagram. It's probably the best place. Uh, here's my Instagram down here. Hopefully this piece was a bit of fun, help you develop some techniques. Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Get on with it, eh? I'm doing that thing again when I trail off. <laughs>